Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we wrapped up the Metro Kingdom, kind of dilly-dallied around, got lost a bunch, gave Pauline a gift she absolutely didn't deserve, and here, we're going to finally kick back and relax and take some of our PTO. We're headed to the Seaside Kingdom. If you like kicking back and relax and like this video, comment and subscribe. I love a good CTA. Call to action. Or come tickle my Adam's apple. Whatever you're into. Don't actually do that. Please. So we're back in the Seaside Kingdom. Very relaxing, very chill vibe. Gonna get our hopefully requisite 15-ish moons today. Oh, I just really love that the game has to tell me this every time like I'm gonna forget. But in fairness, I am stupid, so there's a good chance that I would forget. Maybe I shouldn't patronize the game so much. But first things first, besides me being the realist, we're gonna open up this moon rock. I took some notes today prior to recording this, so that way I don't look like as big of a buffoon as usual. No promises. Oh. Can already tell you that this is going to go a lot more smoothly than last time. So we've got that to look forward to. A lot more smoothly? I don't think so. Oop, there's one. Hello. Excuse me. Whoop. Above the parasol cage. So I'm gonna do my best to not wholly embarrass myself like I did last time in the Metro Kingdom. I'm not quite as familiar with that one, so You'll have to forgive me, or don't. But realistically, I really hate that kingdom, and I don't enjoy doing it, so... This is bubbling up hard. P-colored Goombas, get out of my life. I do believe that a good amount of the... Oops! Classic button press. A good amount of the moons that I want to get to are... I mean, it's telling me where they are. We're at the, the bubbler, so we're going to hop in that real quick. I think you can actually get two or three of them pretty easily. Now, take that with a grain of salt. Easily if you're you, not me. But first, a visit from Peach. Look at that outfit. This giant glass looks setting in the sun. Peach, Peach wants to uh, enjoy some glass. Oh, thanks. Came in with the tide. That's the moon's fault. That's science. There we go. Okay. It's two quick moons. And I believe there's one right down here. Yeah, so... We did our researches, okay, viewers. Let's give D-Mike a break. I don't want that. I want to go in here. Stop it. This takes us to the... Cascade Kingdom. I almost forgot what it was. We haven't been there in eons. I know this doesn't technically count towards the moon count of the Seaside Kingdom, but it counts towards the moon count of today. You can bet you're behind. So, that's how it's gonna be, and if you don't like it, that's too bad. Because I am not good at this game, and I will take every possible handout I can get. All right, so that's nice. We like that. I did feel bad. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to be coordinated when I'm doing some of these later areas because I just don't know where anything is. I try. I try for you viewers. Okay, don't ever, don't say that I didn't try for this family. All right. Let's get on the, let's get on the rim here. I do believe I hear a twinkling. There we go. Okay. Let's get down here. Line it up. And just a scoot. Yes, viewers, yes. Look at this. It's a fine detail on the glass. We have five moons, viewers. It's only been four minutes. Ish. Took the power heart for no reason. For no reason. Okay. Ooh, there's a rabbit here. I see you, baby. I'm on to you. 
Is he wearing a like a run DMC hat like hip hop because he's a rabbit? Is that it? Viewers, did I uncover something? I'm gonna cut him off the pass. Okay, you could just stop running, please. Oh, that should have that should have cat uh, should have capped is what I almost just said. I'm gonna cap your rabbit behind. Yeah, boy, got you. Come here. Come here. Yeah, this has been a smorgasbord of moons already, viewers. Okay. We are absolutely crushing it. I feel pretty enthused today, as you can tell. I'm feeling great. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, so that's referring to Glideon. I don't know... Oh, I didn't get the flag for over here? That seems a little preposterous. Huh? Yeah, this feels good though. I'm feeling pretty vibed. I've got the Riz today, as the kids say. You know what I'm talking about? No cap for the Riz. And after I get done recording this episode, I might have a glizzy in the old mouth hole. Is this possible to do with just Mario? I might need... I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm thinking no. Oh, you can do three circles? Gosh darn! That's gotta be impossible. So I'm assuming we need to grab this chip chip. Which is right below us. We will do that. Woo woo! Come here, sir, madam. Oh, look, viewers. Come on. Easy, look at this. It almost kinda like homes on them, too. This is like when I cheese all the, uh, the roving racers. Okay, so basically what I'm learning is that this is more easily doable with the cheap cheap if you're also not having the negative equivalent of being an idiot. Like me! Also, <laughs> I don't have it now because, yeah, that was, that's not very practical. That's probably smarter. This is like a anti-speedrunning strat. I'm being a little bit too cautious. You can kind of just go for it. Oh, I missed it by one. This is the payment I get for running my big fat mouth. I'm going to wait for the Chief Chief to actually respawn here. That was kind of my... Can I hit it with the Chief Chief? Like, hit the actual button. Okay. Maybe this will be faster if I start out as the cheap cheap instead of having to waste time capturing it. Maybe. Viewers, I'm trying to get every time save I can for my PB. Okay? Yeah, this feels pretty good. I feel like I got it this time. We're not hearing any, any panic sounds. Yeah. Yeah, easy. I mean, first try. Come on. World record pace. That felt pretty heckin' good. All right. I'm actually getting these a lot quicker, thanks to my researches, but also because I've been practicing. No, I haven't. Okay. I've done nothing of the sort. Is there any of the floating who's and what's? I don't think so. All right. So we're, in, we're doing well. I still think I need to keep my 10 to 15 moon, excuse me, 10 to 15 moon pace going further as we wrap up the rest of these areas. Hello. Hello. Hospitality. I don't remember you guys being here. What is that down there? You big dummies. I don't think I've ever seen anybody wear a suit at the beach, though. That seems like a poor choice. A poor... A lack of planning, you might say. Why is there one of these under here? Is it stuck? <laughs> He's like, help me, please. I am underwater. Oh, is he enjoying himself? I feel like that would like corrode its parts. 
It's like Robo from Chrono Trigger. I don't think he would like any of the amount of water as well. Although, this is just me being pedantic. I was watching somebody play that recently, Chrono Trigger specifically, and I heard them call him Robo. I know his name is technically R O B dash zero or O or whatever it is. Um, he's a robot, therefore a Robo, not a Robo. I will not stand for such a strange amalgamation of his name. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's one right there. I see you, baby. Mmm, give me it. Give me a good, yes. Underwater highway. Nice. I've seen bridges like that before in some places. I want to say it's like Europe or something. Where, maybe it's like Norway even. A place in Europe, in fact. And, um... That doesn't get you anything. I don't need a heart. Where they have... A bridge that goes underwater. I think there's one in England as well that's like through the British Channel. Pretty cool. If I do... Oh, we're gonna die here. We're running out of oxygen. Good job, us. I didn't really need this cheap cheap, but... Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing now. Everything has gone off the rails. We were so highly coordinated and now we're just kind of winging it. Ooh, viewers, it's time to hit that chimney. Let's go inside. Probably have to ditch the cheap cheap first. No fish inside this abode. Here we go. Let's get some more moons. We, we did this one, didn't we? I mean, the game's not telling me not to. I feel like I did, I did something similar to this. I mean, I know for a fact that we did this because I remember it with the little amount of memory I do have. My pre-dementia brain. I'm not, I'm not vibing with these spinies, though. Guys, fellas, what are, what are we doing here? I like that the game preemptively knows that you're going to suck, and it's like, here's a heart. This is kind of getting on my nerves here. I don't... I just can't get away from them for a second, please. Just gonna try to isolate them for a moment. Let's give ourselves a breather while we collect these moon chips. Almost died in the process. Very good. Very cash. I say moon chips. Makes me think of their celestial opposite, the sun chip, the chip made by someone. Does anybody remember sun chips? The weird roughly ridged square chips. I used to, uh, in my youth. Ooh, I would like to not die while we're doing this. In my youth, I would consume a veritable large quantity, oops, of sun chips. We're talking like I could go through a bag in like two days and then I would have explosive orange poos because I was a harvest cheddar boy, so. Let's show some respect for the Harvest Cheddar. Couldn't do that now. In my aged stomach, my body would certainly grumpily erode. It's the way it goes when you become a, a legend in your own right. This, this, the game does not give you enough time to kind of defend yourself from the spinies. And they're all... Ooh. I guess I could kill them. All I need to do is get the one up here. Over here. I enjoy spending time with my family. I have... A niece. She is the child of my sibling. And, uh... Why am I not able to figure this out? She's very much a fan of playing hide and seek and hiding in very conspicuous places because she's two. And that's what you do when you're two. Okay. I'm just trying to like juke these guys a bit. There we go. This is like making my brain hurt.
You can't jump over these walls, can you? And that kind of invalidates the whole thing. How do they expect you to get this one? My brain's like, dude, we're having a rough road. Oh, we are brain farting hard right now. I don't see any other... This is one of those moments that is going to come back to embarrass me in the future when I rewatch this. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just have to spin it around like this from the corner instead of riding on the thing. <laughs> that took a little bit too long, didn't it? I said I was well. I was referring to my physical health. Clearly not my mental health because I am an idiot. Oh boy, don't do this. Actually, wait, this might be fast. This puts the moon back at the beginning. This will be a total speedrun strat. Yeah, viewers, come on. Respect. The spinning maze search. Now, is there another moon? Because usually it is, right? Is there another moon tucked away in here in some stupid spot? I'm trying to, like, Captain Toad's treasure tracker my way. I don't think there is. Oh, you're following me. <laughs> Was not paying any attention. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just peeping here, viewers. I'm just peeping. Just, we're just peeping real fast. Lose the attitude, all right. We're just peeping. Oops, see ya. Bye forever, literally. Okay. I don't think so. This looks like this is a one and done. So, bye, see you forever. Taking a nice dip in the graph paper. Wait, is that not the... Oh, we have to take the... We gotta go back into it. Game's like, no easy way out for you, boy. Okay. I hope that's all that there was. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whoa, excuse me. It doesn't really matter. Because... Like I said, I'm only trying to get to that 5 hundo. There's no... It's not 100% going on here. No chance. Hello, Peach. Present me doesn't care about any of that. I'm just trying to have a good time with you viewers. We've already got nine moons. At excellent pace. Ooh, that's probably a moon too. It is sparkling. And a boop. We finally learned how to jump the right way. I like that he says his name like a Pokemon after you get it. Cappy! Don't forget my name, Mario. He's way less... Um... How do you say, like, good with words than his sister? Like, she's clearly the talker in the family. Cappy's just kind of like, I can say my name and that's it. Get there. Yes! Right at the buzzer. It's 10 moon, 11 moons in 19 minutes. Now I know there's gotta be a roving racers challenge somewhere. Where are those boys at? Where are them little rap scallions? Uh, do we have other places on the map we can go? What is this? Lighthouse, we were just there. Beach volleyball? Was I supposed to do this and like get 30? Was Did I get the, the beach volleyball moon? I don't know. Viewers, I'm not convinced. To get the moon, what did we need to have? Jump and spike. Oh. I'm gonna try to get the 30. Okay, or not. Oh, you can just start again. This is much more forgiving than the stupid jump rope game. I did have a GameCube as a kid. 
And I remember I played, I want to say it's Mario Party 4 or 5. Those games have a, a volleyball component. And I played the absolute heck out of that with my friends. I'm going to try to get to the 30. Just feel like cheating though by using Cappy. Also, I probably shouldn't have hit it there. I'm going for the, of course, the shadow underneath. The shadow that lies within. It's the name of the next Star Wars. Alright. I've got a feeling that this is going to go really poorly for us. So 15 is 1. Oh, thanks, Cappy. I've already been doing that. I think if you weren't doing that and the, you were, like, really goofing it, then I could see the game being like, oh, yeah, hey, stupid. But clearly, you know, my volleyball prowess is, uh, that, I think that, <laughs> that definitely hit the sand. <laughs> so did that. Why are these counting? I'm just trying to get to the 30 mark to see if that gets you another moon. I don't know if it does. If there's 100, that's not happening, of course, because I do not care. Smack the billboard. I think you can kind of like preemptively see where the snail is like tilting its head a little bit. All right. All right, so clearly no prize for 30. Dirty 30 means nothing to anybody. What about 50? I don't think I can manage that, but I will try. Yeah, these shots are definitely hitting the ground, which is the antithesis of volleyball. I mean, okay. Volley bro. Thanks, man. I mean, I feel okay about that. Okay, I think I did that. I want to do... I want to finish this episode with racing. But I don't know where they are. Ooh, there's a seed here. Wait. Phew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Creepy kelp. That's why I refuse to eat kale and seaweed and things like that because of this. No, I'm kidding. All right. We will drop you in here. And oh, I think we have to get a watery boy. Plants need waters to grow. I Waters? Water to grow? I don't know where I'm from. Give me your waters. Alright, here we go. And a boop. And a boop. And a boop. You don't have to do this with the other ones. Oh, does this like instantly make it turn into a moon? That's pretty convenient. I mean, aside from the fact that I'm killing a sea creature. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm okay with that gimmick. Just because of it giving me the instant moon. I do really want to do a race, though. Where are them heckin' turtles? Where the Koopas at? Oh, there's a dog! Hello! Oh, I hit him. Usually the dog leads you to, to moons. Buddy? Huh? He's just gonna pop a squat and drop a big turd right here. Did you find it for us, buddy? Did you find a moon? Take your time. We're not doing a recording or anything. Take your time. What do you think? He's like, you can do the rest. Oh, that's it? Ugh, I am so disappointed. Back to the Humane Society with you. Although I do still feel like rumbling in the sand. Like around here, I can feel it in my pro controller. See if I can find them really quick. If not, whoa, I felt that. <laughs> it's a twofer. I feel a very strong rumbling here. The haptic feedback. Ooh, that was close. What a clutch maneuver. Does anybody know where these fellas are? Anyone? Are they up there? I don't know. Hold on. I'm hitting the wrong buttons again. Um, Hot Spring Island? That's where I was. 
Oh, it's over here. How did I miss that? That's feeling good in the neighborhood. Right there. Literally right there. Alright, so that's over here. Thought? Yeah, there he is. Okay. We'll cap off today's excellent episode with some Koopa free running. How about it? The roving racers. Bro, you know I'm in. Professor, let's do it. Show me where the bacon is. Ooh. How do I get to that? I don't know what I'm doing. Viewer surprising. All right. Whoa. Are we just swimming upward right now? We gotta grab a cheap cheap. They're probably gonna have like instant cheap cheap powers, which is messed up. Come here. Go. Go. Oh no, we're dying. <laughs> Don't mind me, just cheating. All right, where was that? Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, we're in third? I don't feel like I'm in third. There we go. Oops, no. <laughs> don't ground pound the water, dummy. We gotta hurry. Oh, there's these fork things. Okay, I see it. What the fork? Whoop. A little bounce back and forth. Oh, easy, viewers, come on. What a great final moon of the day. It's a personal best, a PB. Another one. First try. Here's the prize, bro. Thanks. Alright, and that's where we're going to wrap for the day, but in the next episode, we'll be doing some more of the Seaside Kingdom. We got 13 moons today, so we only technically need two. But we'll see how many we grab in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.